All right, Jones, how are you going to find that statue and all this junk? Oof! Looks dang looks dangerous. These books don't look familiar. Uh oh. Better get that roof checked. A cheap copy of a Siamese idol. Yow! I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. John. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. What is face? He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What is the spy one with the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology, and there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant, a spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. But where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia.
it's unlocked. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. Let me in, you Darwinian nightmare. Was that an insult? Well, what do you think? I think I'm tired of fancy Dan College boys who use big voids, and I think you's better apologize. Well, why should I, you fat tub of lard? That's it, wise guy. Put up your dukes. Phew, lucky that wasn't a Nazi spy or I'd be dead. Here I go again. Back for more, huh? Excuse me, sorry to bother you. Well, that didn't work. Third time's the charm. I've got nothing to say to you. Wait, I'm sorry I offended you. Oh, in that case, what do you want? Let me in, you Darwinian nightmare. It's not too late to apologize, Buster. Drop dead, Pumpkinhead. Now you've done it! Bigger they are, well, you know. Excuse me. Aha! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. I've got something for you. Not now, I'm busy. Excuse me. Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Excuse me. Shh. She's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? I've got a newspaper here. So you do. Aren't you wondering about events of the day? I don't know. Maybe. How'd you like today's newspaper? Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay?
It won't go any further in that direction. There it goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through... Uh... May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of... Of... Deceit. Deceit. Thanks, Indy. Indiana Jones? You've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. Oh, great. Good night, folks. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. I'd say it's about time. Oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. <laughs>